Now, here's something most of you probably didn't know to shift gears. Why do Chinese women pursue lighter skin? Good question, huh? I don't know if they're aware of the color discrimination undertones. Probably not. As it turns out, this preference finds its roots in history. In ancient times, the first factor to judge if a woman is beautiful in China is the skin color, and the standard is lighter skin. The most precious thing about being a female is to have fair skin. For the Ming and Qing dynasties, a white skin color covered a hundred ugly defects. The standard of Chinese ancient aesthetics is based on what China considered aesthetically sound. History says this came about because Chinese women have straight and black hair and a gentle expression. Li Yu, an ancient Chinese author during the Ming and Qing dynasties, concluded that it's possible to make Chinese women look white. He regarded white skin as a standard by which women are considered pretty. Now, some other authors during those times also had their views of pretty women, but all they cared about was appearance. Now, as I said, they must be forgiven for not knowing more contemporary Western ideas about color and race. Li Yu drew that conclusion after seeing actresses, by the way, put on makeup. Now, speaking of makeup and other cosmetics, the Global Times reports there's a modern-day conflict, but that fair skin remains the norm at all cost. While some criticize the pursuit of lighter skin, others argue that beauty products can make a difference. Jing Yunyi, a beautician in Beijing's Chaoyang district, has a positive attitude towards this long-running trend. Liu Ning, an orthopedist from the PLA Navy General Hospital in Beijing, suggests that women who chase whiter skin at least have a responsible approach to wearing sunscreen. Liu believes there are many other ways women could make their skin look brighter. He encourages Chinese women to eat fruits rich in vitamin C, such as lemons and cherries. Liu also suggests they could try whitening injections, but he says that may be risky. And that's today's national news, but when we return, around the world, a look at China's global footprint. Please stay with us.